welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, you are following me on Instagram, and you comment down below for any future videos that you would like to see. This video is all about what I eat in a day for fat loss. But before we get into this video, I do have a couple of disclaimers. Now, this video is related to my body, my stats, my goals. Another thing is this um, video is all about fat loss and that means my calories will be on a deficit. Now what that also means is, if anyone is on a deficit, you should not be in a deficit for more than four to five weeks time. What happens is your body will start to plateau and you will not see the results that you want to see. I think a lot of people make the mistake of, oh, I wanna lose weight, therefore I'm gonna increase my cardio to a ridiculous amount, and then I'm gonna decrease my carb intake, decrease my calories drastically, your body will basically shut down and that's not what we want we want sustainability we want health and we want results we do not want quick fixes and it's as simple as that this is an example video as well me myself i don't count macros i do portion control and i'm not on a fat loss journey but i did want to make this video to provide as much information as possible so without further ado let's get cooking and the first meal is breakfast and what i'm going to cook today is four egg whites not the yolk now a lot of people are like oh why don't you have the yolk the yolk consists of good fats yes but i want to have more slow releasing fats during the day and not have them all in the morning so i'm going to have four egg whites i'm going to have one fig for my fiber five to six strawberries whole I'm gonna have one slice of whole wheat toast with some butter and jam as well. And that is gonna be my breakfast. So my egg whites, my toast with some jam and butter, um, strawberries and figs. So now we're going to have lunch and what I'm making is a super quick and easy meal. And this is going to be just two stuffed pita breads with some chicken, spinach, hummus and cucumber. So easy to make and you know what, you can take these home with you to school, anywhere. Now I'm not going to cook the chicken on camera because I don't want to offend anyone, of course. So I'm going to cook the chicken behind the scenes and then I'll show you how I prep everything else. To cook the chicken in, I am going to be using coconut oil. You can use olive oil like I did for breakfast, but coconut oil has a good source of fats in and I do want to get my fats in because fats are crucial to weight loss as well. For me, I always train during the evening time so a bigger lunch for me is crucial. However, if if you train lunchtime, I would advise you to maybe have a lighter lunch if you're someone who feels a little bit sick at the gym. So maybe one pizza bread instead of two, and then you can have the other one after you finish your workout. So it's all about splitting your meals and finding the right balance for you. I personally like a big lunch. I feel better and more energized during the evening. Lunch is probably gonna be my biggest dense calorie meal of the day so I'm gonna cook it now So me and Jack are on our way. We're gonna do a couple 
couple of things that we have to do like run some errands and sometimes it takes longer than expected when you're out and about and away from your house so although I've had breakfast and lunch I don't want to buy anything in case I get hungry so what I do is I always like carry a shake with me and this is um, from Women's Best. I haven't tried this flavor yet. It's actually like salted caramel pretzel. And I love salted caramel and I love pretzels. So I'm gonna see how this tastes. This has 25 grams of protein, 1.2 grams of carbs, which is amazing. Next to nothing fat. So this is all about protein. Never ever ever have a protein shake simply as a meal. Really recommend having proper meals and then protein shakes shakes to supplement your diet and to help you hit your macros and um, yeah just wanted to let you guys know okay so I've just come back from doing all my bits and bobs with Jack so I wanted a quick snack and then I'm gonna go gym in like half an hour after I have this snack so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one tablespoon of peanut butter which is roughly about nine to ten grams of fat but this is good fat so as you can see here, one tablespoon. And then what I'm gonna do is, scoop that out. What I'm gonna do is chop up one banana. I know this is a strange way of peeling a banana, but just bear with me. And all I'm gonna do, cut up my banana and get simplest snack ever, some peanut butter on top, just like so. And that's my little snack. And then we're gonna have dinner. And now for dinner, I'm gonna make these enchilada kits. And I'm gonna have two wraps. So it's gonna be packed with chicken, peppers, um, just a very light sprinkle of cheese, like probably not any cheese at all actually, and onion. And you don't need to use chicken, you can use mixed kidney beans or whatever you fancy. But for me, I just fancy chicken. So I just calculated absolutely everything. And these two wraps will be 50 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein, and about an eight grams of fat, which is pretty good, to be honest, for dinner. one more than the other but it is what it is it's still going in my belly so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this what i eat in a day and let me know if you want to see more food videos or more recipes and yeah that's all i have to say anyway i love you always and forever and bye